Jason, the new AFC Bournemouth manager, you must be very proud. Obviously, yeah, it's, a, it's an honour and a privilege to to be manager of such a great football club. So, you yeah, very honoured to be to be sitting here today as the manager. You know, when I come here as a, a 20 year old sort of young man, so to speak, as a player, uh, you know, I soon fell in love with, with the area, the football club. Uh, and, you know, uh, I call this my home. I've been here for such a long time now. Uh, so, yeah, so in, in terms of an opportunity to manage a football club, uh, yeah, this would certainly be number one on my list. What changes can supporters expect from you as, as a manager? Obviously, I think when the club's had the success that it's had uh, the last 10, 12 years, you know, sort of under Eddie and me by his side, you know, you're not going to come here and, and rip everything up and start again. I think you'd be a fool to do that. So, you know, uh, you know I'm, I'm not Eddie in terms of, you know, and I can't be his clone and I won't be his clone, but you know, my own person, I've got my own ideas and I'll be looking to implement them you know, as, as soon as we get back to training ground. And Maxim Demin has said that uh, he wants to get the club back into the Premier League as soon as possible. That's going to be a, a big challenge for you? Of course, I think any club that you know, gets relegated from the Premier League, you know, their, their immediate aim is to get back to the Premier League at the first time of asking. And this club you know, is, is no different. You know, that's going to be the aim, that's going to be the challenge. Uh, as we know, the Championship's a very tough league. But, you know, uh, it's a league I've been involved in before and it's a league that, you know, we've won before and our ultimate goal is going to be to, to get off to a good start and, you know, hopefully get back to the Premier League as quickly as we can. What do you think the biggest change is going to be for you stepping into the manager's shoes from the assistant manager's shoes? The media, for one, uh, <laughs> which, uh, you know, uh, I know it's different in the Championship, but I see how demanding that was certainly for, for the Premier League and, and for Ed. Uh, but obviously it comes with different challenges, different pressures. Uh, and it's something I thought about sort of during this sort of last week, the full process is that, you know, uh, has gone through my head and I've spoke to sort of close, close family about. And, you know, it's, it's certainly a challenge that I feel I'm ready for. Uh, and something I'm looking forward to. And you're well equipped as well. 569 games as an assistant manager and Obviously, you've got the pro licence in 2016 as well, which is very important. Yeah, listen, I, I think if I'm not ready now to do this job, then I don't think, you know, I'd ever be ready. You know, when I've been standing by its side for, for as long as I have done now, sort of the last 12 years, uh, and with the success that, you know, we're, we've had together, uh, Ed's had as a manager, you know, I've certainly learned a hell of a lot during that time and you know I do now feel that you know now's the time where you know I'm ready uh, I've got the tools that I need uh, and I'm looking forward to that challenge. And you're obviously under no illusions that Eddie is going to be a hard act to follow? 100% uh, you know I think anyone stepping into to Eddie's shoes is, is going to be a hard act to follow with the success that this football club's had under under his guidance. Uh, it's been nothing short of a miracle. Uh, but the good thing from my point of view is that, you know, I've stood by his side, I've shared an office with him throughout that time. Uh, you know, the decisions that have been made, been part of, and all the other stuff that goes with it. So, you know, that's why I sort of I feel that I've learned a hell of a lot. And, you know, I'm ready for that next challenge. After guiding Fulham back to the Premier League at the first attempt this week, Scott Parker was quoted as saying that he had to repair the psychological damage of relegation. Do you, do you feel that there could be an element of that for you to deal with here? I think that's always going to be the, the first challenge that you're going to have to face. You know, when, when you get relegated from, I think, any division, it's really tough to take, you know. Uh, you know, sort of throughout your break and away from the club, you know, that feeling sort of tends to linger for, for some time. But, you know, what we can't do is let it linger any longer than, than now. You know, we, once we come back to work, you know, we, we're ready to, to face the challenge and face it head on and, you know, make sure that we do everything that we can to, to get off to a good start and to get back to the Premier League. I know that um, you've probably taken a lot from a lot of managers that you've seen and perhaps worked with. And I know that 
being at Arsenal when you were younger that you, you took a lot from Arsene Wenger? Of course, you know, I think, you know, when, when Ed and myself you know, first you know, got involved in management at Bournemouth, you know, we, we did go and watch Arsenal train a number of times uh, through contacts that, that we had at the time and Arsene was, was the manager. It was, you know, uh, I don't think anyone, you know, you, you could never criticise the, the job and the philosophy that Arsene Wenger had and brought to this country and, you know, we was big admirers of, of him and Arsenal at the time and, you know, it was a philosophy that, that we really liked and believed in and we tried to implement here. So, you know, that's, that's certainly sort of the philosophy that that this football club's sort of seen over the years and, and one that we're trying to build going forward. I know that you've said before that one of your regrets as a player was never playing in the Premier League, which is why you were so um, pleased to, to be assistant manager in the Premier League. And now I would imagine being a manager in the Premier League is, is your main target now. Of course, I think, you know, I think any, any boy's dream is to so one, I think ultimately become a professional footballer. And then I think when you achieve that goal, it's to play at the highest possible level that you can. And, you know, uh, there's no better level than playing at the Premier League, as you say, sort of. And then when you move to the other side of the fence, so to speak, into management, your ultimate goal is to, is to do the same, is to, you know, try and test yourself in the best possible league in the world, which, you know, I do believe is the Premier League. And, you know, that certainly is, is my goal now. With such a short turnaround before the start of the season as well and just being appointed now it's going to be uh, all hands to the pump I mean you know 24 7 is probably not going to be enough hours in the day for you no of course you know as you say with such a short turnaround there's a lot of stuff that needs to be done a lot of planning that needs to be done and uh, the good thing is that you know got some very good staff around me uh, so you know we know what's expected we know what needs to be done it's just a matter it's just a matter of implementing it and, and getting it done as quickly as possible because you know before you know it the players are back and we're starting training again you and eddie always had a really good rapport with the supporters so on your unveiling today as manager your first message to the supporters as manager well, my first message to the supporters as manager is that you know we can want to continue the success that this club's had you know, the last 10 years, it's been an incredible journey we've been on. You know, unfortunately, we, we lost our Premier League status last year and we'll be doing everything we can, you know, this year to get back to the Premier League as quickly as we can.